The government has been accused of appeasing terrorists and breaking step with our allies' positions in support of Israel. Calls for diplomacy continue to be ignored as thousands of Australians face the prospect of being stranded in Lebanon. Between Iranian strikes on Israel and a ground invasion into Lebanon, Australia's pleas for peace are universal. We've urged all parties to show restraint and de-escalate. Holding out hope for a non-violent solution. We have added our voice to an international call for a 21-day uh, ceasefire. That call prompting a furious response back home. Israel is facing an existential threat of extinction to be talking about some sort of an appeasement model is not going to work. The United States argues Israel's military action in southern Lebanon is a necessity to diminish Hezbollah's military assets. The end goal really is to push back Hezbollah uh, away from uh, the Israeli border. But by advocating for peace talks, the opposition claims Australia has abandoned our allies in their show of solidarity with Israel. We are not about to deny our country's rights to defend themselves. That said, this is the moment for diplomacy. Gobbledygook. Talk about Neville Chamberlain-esque waffle waffle. If uh, Richard Miles wants to go down the appeasement path of Anthony Albanese, that's an issue for him. As the government grapples with geopolitical challenges, thousands of Australians are at risk of becoming stranded by the violence in Lebanon. An RAAF Hercules is in Cyprus ready to help, but the government fears many are choosing to stay.